Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be giving you my week 40 update of my fitness journey. And this week I tried Mad Fit's workouts. I got out the weights and I just bit the bullet and wanted to try her workouts. So I'm just going to go through what I did this week. Then I'll give you my first impression review updates and then we will get into the photos. So starting off Saturday, like always, I don't do anything on Saturdays. I don't even know what I did on Saturday. I feel like I say that every week. And then Sunday, I did the 30 minute full body workout. I should have a thumbnail on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like. But that one, I just wanted to take Sunday easy and just do one video and it was 30 minutes. Okay, so that workout was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Working out with weights is so different. These are the weights, by the way. I don't know. When did Valerie get these, Valerie? I mean, Sherry, when did Valerie get these? Oh my gosh, they're so old. We've had these ever since they like lived in Ohio. And these are just the three pound weights. Um, I originally didn't want to use them cause like they're not very nice to like hold in your hand. But you know, I was like, whatever. I'll just use it because that's what we have and I don't want to like go out and buy anything right now. Overall, I think that was a really good full body workout. A lot different from what I was expecting. Then on Monday, I did the 15 minute hit workout. I did the 15 minute love handle ab workout and then I did the toned arms. I really like the toned arms. Um, I'm still a little sore from that one. Tuesday, I don't work out because I work and I just don't really want to work out that day. Wednesday, I did the 20 minute abs and booty. Spoiler alert, that's probably my favorite one I've tried so far. And then I did the 15 minute leg workout. And today, right now, my legs are still a little sore from that. I normally don't work out on Thursday, but I'm gonna work out after I film this, like right now. So I plan on doing the 20 minute full body workout hit workout with the weights, the 10 minute intense six pack workout, and the 20 minute full body at home workout with no equipment. I kind of just want to try her six pack abs because I just want to see what it's like. I haven't tried it yet. Okay, the workout I just did, the full body 20 minute workout with her, she's wearing like green leggings. Favorite workout so far. Um, I really don't like in some of her workouts that she repeats the set. So like after the first set, it's like, the second half of the video is just the same thing. The one I just did is all different exercises and I really like that one. I'm really glad that I tried that one out. Um, and then Friday, I will not be working out. So I'm kind of swapping Thursday and Friday out because I just, with schedule and everything, um, this weekend is my friend's bachelorette party and I won't be filming anything, unfortunately, just for privacy reasons. Yeah, that's why I'm not going to be working out on Friday. Hopefully I'll be able to work out on Sunday. I'll probably just get up super early and do like a 30 minute workout. Okay, I just realized that I didn't give my like full first impression review of her workouts. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Hopefully this doesn't take forever. Say hi, Sherry. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Okay, so starting off, I don't really like them, but I like them. That's a really bad description of the workouts, but I don't really like them because she doesn't really motivate me to like work out and her music is just not there. At least Chloe Ting's, even though Chloe Ting has like a lot of non-copyrighted music, it's still like upbeat and stuff. I just don't know. I just don't feel motivated. Like right now, I do not want to work out. I feel like she's just kind of boring in a way. Um, her workouts are so hard. So I'm still sore from everything that I've done from her, especially with the weights and stuff. Her workouts are challenging. And if you're doing them correctly, you'll feel it. So I would definitely say, are they harder than Pamela's? They're harder in a different way, but overall it's not an enjoyable experience. You know, when I see Pamela, I'm just like, yes. You know, when I see Chloe Ting, like her energy is just like there, but it's not too, much energy, like some of the workout people that you guys suggested me to try, they're just like too happy. But like Madfit, she's very serious. So if I was like internally motivated to like work out, which I somewhat am, but like I want, you know, to either have like some good music, you know, some Jason Derulo in there or something to like, I don't know, just have a better experience. Will I do her workouts again next week? I don't know, I'm still thinking about it, but I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards Pamela's workouts. 
instead of mad fits i want to be excited to work out and i think that even though mad fit is more challenging i want to be like more happy and excited to like do the workout and pamela is coming out with weighted workouts or she already has some of them so i can't wait to try those food wise i mentioned to you that my mom and i were going to do our low carb challenge so far it's been okay i call it low carb light because your girl popped out the triscuits this morning i was so hungry and it is that time of the month for me so I get so hungry and I eat so much. I've been really good considering the circumstances. Um, definitely this weekend is not going to be low carb probably just because again we're going to be out kind of like partying and having a good time. Obviously safely like I'm going to try to stay as safe as I can just because the cases are rising here of COVID and stuff. So I'm going to try my best next week to probably do better than I did this week. Overall I did really really good but other than that this is not really on the topic of working out and stuff but I have some really fun videos coming out next week so get excited I've worked really hard on them and also I want to thank you guys for 37,000 subscribers so one of the videos is to kind of celebrate that I went out of the comfort zone be on the lookout if you're not following me on Instagram make sure to follow me on Instagram because I have a special IGTV coming soon and I can't wait for you to see that with that being said let's just move on to the photos so on the left is Alex last week and on on the right is this week again I'm a bit bloated my pooch is just like out there man that's all I need to really say it just feels like that at least and then um, here is the side view of that it is what it is um, I do have a goal weight in mind before November 14th which I don't know if I'm gonna meet because I love food way too much and also muscle weighs more than fat so if I have a goal weight in mind I understand that like it might not happen just because of different factors and then here is pre-workout Alex pre-workout Alex is on the left and current Alex is on the right and here is the side view of that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video question of the day what time do you go to bed at night because I don't know I kind of typically go to bed around 11 or 12 the latest I'll stay up is probably like 1 a.m. but other than that I'm not that much of a night owl as some people don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye